Okay, hello everyone, can you hear me? Okay, thanks for taking part in this pilot of the role play simulation. Uh, what we're going to do is run for a simple role play. Let me just take you around and show you what's in the environment. On the left here you can see a screen in blue with a lot of boxes on and that describes the process we're going to follow. If you need to get closer to read it, please do. Uh, we're, we're going to be using a role play based on a template called Depolarizer. And it's a very simple role play. So the steps are starting top left hand corner. The first step we're on is where we're all going to meet each other. And then we'll move on to each block as we work our way through and I will control that process. Uh, the next step is an icebreaker where I'll ask you to vote on the issue that we're going to be covering and I'll tell you about that in a moment. And I'll ask you to predict the uh, results from a previous poll rather than give your own opinion. We'll then look at the results comparing your prediction to the actual results from the poll and then we'll start the role play itself and there are a number of steps going down there which you can see uh, the first step is we will assign roles and we only have two roles in this role play one is you'll either be a very pessimistic individual or you'll be a very optimistic individual with regard to the issue which I'll tell you about and then based on your assigned role I'll ask you to write three statements and we'll be using a post-it wall in the world to do that You'll then have an opportunity to read out your statements. Uh, we can then discuss those. And then we'll then mark the post-its um, to actually choose the post-its which you think are most important. You'll have an opportunity to vote on those that you think are most important. And then we'll have a final discussion looking at the results. So that's the role play. And then fi finally there's a vote which I'll ask you to vote again on the issue. But this will be from your own personal point of view rather than any roll and then we'll finish. Over here in front you can see two yellow boxes and uh, the these describe the issue we're going to be looking at and today we're looking at the issue of banning smoking in public places. Although this is already in effect in the UK in certain public places like bars and restaurants in other countries uh, they don't have this law yet so it's still an issue so I'd like you just to take the point of view that the law hasn't been passed and we're looking at whether we think it's going to be a, a successful law or not so the issue is should we be banning smoking in public places and what the effect will be so there's a statement panel which gives some uh, a basic statement about uh, the issue about banning smoking and then on the left there's a description panel which gives a little bit more information about uh, about this policy. Underneath that there are a number of links which you can click on which will load your browser with some extra information about information relevant to this policy issue. So feel free to click on any of those links if you want to get more information. And I think that's it at the moment. You'll find that the other things will load into the world as we get started, but I will explain how they'll work as we move through. So are there any questions at this stage? Okay, so let's move on to the first step, which is the icebreaker vote. Okay, we've now moved on to the icebreaker vote. And you'll see on the floor, we now have a, the carpets changed. And also the box at the back on the blue uh, wall has changed to show we're at the icebreaker vote stage. So uh, this this floor panel is actually a voting uh, carpet, and depending on where your avatar is on the carpet will indicate where you are on the scale. And if you look to the end of the carpet, the one end, you can see the question that we uh, we have for the vote. And now, so a previous poll was carried out about the new policy issue, which was banning smoking in public places. So the issue being addressed was banning smoking in public places will increase the health of the nation. 
what I'd like you to do now is vote on how you predict the general public voted on this issue. So this should not be your personal view on this issue, but your view on how you think people have voted on this issue. We'll have an opportunity afterwards to compare your prediction to the results from the actual poll. So if you could vote, what you'll need to do is stand on the carpet and one is extremely pessimistic and nine is extremely optimistic and the numbers in between are varying between those two points. So you need to be on the carpet to vote and when you're on the carpet you'll see a button at the top of the screen which says push to vote and you need to push that and then your stake will be in the ground. You only get one vote but you can change your mind if you want to go go to another end of the carpet and vote again you can do that. So can I ask you all now to vote where you predict what you think the general uh, public opinion would have been on this issue about banning smoking in public places whether it would increase the health of the nation. So go ahead and vote now. So what we can do now is compare you, what your prediction is to how people actually voted on this issue. So I will, what I'll do is step on to the next stage. Oh, here we go. Now, if you, if you see a graph appeared in front of you over here. Now, unfortunately, uh, we haven't got the results from the previous poll because um, the data analysis service uh, isn't on. But what we can do is at least see the results from your prediction from how you just voted. And as you can see, the vast majority we were around the seven mark. And I think one was on six and one was on eight. So you can see we've dynamically generated the results from the, the vote and they're now appearing in the world. What you should have seen would have been next to that a pie chart from the actual poll and we could have compared how close that came. Does anybody want to comment on on that vote in terms of uh, the results that we got? Are you surprised that you're all optimistic? I find it really funny that's surprising. <clears throat> I think anything to do with like reducing smoking is quite a positive thing in most people's view. Yes. How did you think, um, w would you have voted differently if you asked your own opinion or did, did you vary, do you think you varied your result because you're asked to predict how other people would vote? Personally, I would have voted very pessimistic about it, uh, but considering it was about the general vote, most people have a positive view on other people reducing smoking through banning uh, smoking in public places. Personally, I don't think that will help. Okay, no, I think that's a fair point. And actually, you'll get an opportunity to vote at the end with your personal point of view as well, so um, bear that in mind later on. Okay, what I'll do now is move us on to the next step, which is where we'll sign the roles for the role play itself. So I'm going to move us on. Okay. Now we've got five of you so far loaded, which I can assign roles to. And as I say, we in this template we only have very simple roles. You're either an optimist or a pessimist. So an optimist would have a very optimistic view, very positive view about the, the banning smoking would have a good effect on society. And the pessimist would have a very negative view, belief being that banning smoking would not have a positive effect on society. It would lead have more of a negative effect. So what I'm going to do is just assign you to either a pos optimist or a pessimist. And what you should do, you'll receive a message in your text chat area, area telling you which role you've been assigned to. So I'm just going to do this randomly. Okay, I've now assigned the roles, so hopefully you should have received a message stating which role you've got, and I think you have to click on the place marks uh, menu, and if you're an optimist, select the optimist option, 
And if you're a pessimist, select the pessimist option in the menu. And that will take you to the right place. As you can see, you should be standing in front of a, a white screen. One of them is for the optimist instructions and one is for the pessimist. And in a moment, you'll prepare three statements from the point of view of whether you're an optimist or a pessimist. So I don't want your personal opinion here. I want you to think from the point of view of being a very positive, optimistic person or a very negative, pessimistic person about the effect of banning smoking. So um, you can read those statements in front of you to just check you understand it. And then when you're ready, uh, I will then move us on to the next stage where you'll prepare your statements. And you'll want you to create three statements on the wall that you'll see behind you. Let's look at preparing the statements. And I'm now loading the statement wall into the world. And if you turn around, behind you, you can now see a, a statement wall, which is blank with the word po positive spaces on it. And what you do need to do is come over to the wall and take control of the wall and, uh, and you can click the add statement button at the bottom. So if that's clear you should now from either your optimistic or pessimistic point of view uh, add three statements to the wall. Yeah. The next step is where we will get an opportunity to read these out and we can discuss them. So let's take on to that. So uh, what I suggest we do is if one at a time we just go through and if you just read through your statement and give any extra information you think is necessary. So, I don't know who did what, so let me let me start and I'll identify who did it and then I'll ask you to just comment. So okay, so in terms of the pessimistic statements, we've had quite a wide range from human rights and that smokers' rights, you know, should be respected as well, through to the banning not being going far enough. And then enforcement and then people will smoke anyway in their own homes and this tobacco industry issue that I guess they'll find ways of allowing people to smoke and encouraging smoking. So let's have a look at one of the um, optimistic statements. Fresh air banning smoking will not force people to leave a room just because they feel intoxicated by the smoke. Um, that's mine. It's on the same issue to prevent secondhand smoking. Yes, okay. So at the moment, they would have to leave the room. Yeah, okay. And then, be in better shape. Smoking makes you unfit for running and can even prevent you from doing regular exercise. Um, that's mine as well. Um, so, when you smoke, um, everything in your body, especially your lungs, starts to be in the worst shape. So you can't run as fast, you can't do exercise as fast, you can't do that much actually. So in order to do your regular exercises, you kind of not need to smoke for at least two, three days. It can okay. be very effective. And I guess over here there's the other related one about giving people cancer. Banning smoking will prevent people getting cancer. It's a similar issue. Uh, then I think uh, we've covered pretty much all of them. Please shout if I haven't. So let's, uh, what we need to do now is you have an opportunity to vote uh, on what you think are the most important of these statements. 
Now this is your personal point of view as opposed to the role you've been assigned. So you can forget about the role whether you're pessimistic or optimistic. Okay, so I've now moved us onto that stage and you can see under each post it there should be a mark button which you can tick. So uh, you have three votes each. I'd like to ask you all to vote now on your three most important. So how are we doing? Has everybody voted? Yeah, okay, good. I'll uh, move us on to the next stage where we can just have a quick discussion about that. Right, so the highest ones are... These ones are count two, I think. There's one at the bottom that you probably couldn't vote on because it's off the bottom. Oh, it's count three. So the highest... Spoken gives you cancer. Uh, banning smoking will prevent people getting cancer seems to be the most important statement and then we have one two three votes with two votes no, three statements with two votes each so the human rights issue a in, for smokers and I guess for non-smokers with the invisible smoke and the fact that it kills people and with second hand smoke it's another human rights issue. Anybody got any comments on that in terms of the uh, how, how the the highest one came out in cancer? So that seems to be the biggest concern, and that the health effect from smoke causing cancer is is sufficiently a big problem to probably make banning smoking worthwhile. Is that the point of view? I think so. That seems to be the the consensus of... Uh, that's the one that's certainly got the most points, most more. It does, yeah. Okay, let's move on. Uh, what we will do now is go to the carpet again and this time ask you to vote, but from your personal point of view. So if you can follow me over to the carpet. So as before, you get to vote. You'll notice the instructions are slightly changed for the final vote on the white panel above the carpet. So again, it, one is extremely pessimistic, nine extremely optimistic. And I'd like you to give your personal point of view uh, about the issue of banning smoking and whether you think it will have a, an effect on increasing the health of the nation. So go ahead and vote. Okay, so we've got five votes there. It's interesting, a bit more spread out this time. Particularly there's a three, a more pessimistic view as well compared to the prediction from before. Does everyone, anybody want to comment on maybe the difference between this vote with your own point, personal point of view and your previous vote where you asked to predict? The pessimistic one is mine. Um, as I specified in the beginning, my personal opinion is that buying smoking in public places will not reduce health issues. But um, as for the first time we were asked to vote the general opinion, um, I think most people think that that would be an improvement. Personally, I don't. Mm, no, I think that's an interesting point of view. Any other comments from anybody? I actually got a little bit more optimistic because, well, personally, I'm a social smoker. Like if I go out drinking or something, I'll occasionally have a cigarette. But if I'm banned from doing that in the place, then it's obviously going to stop me from doing it, which will increase my health. Oh, okay. So, yeah, your your personal point of view, obviously, is then different to how you perceive the general public voting. Okay, so if I click on the end simulation, I think we should just get... So now you can see, here's a breakdown of the 
the final vote. And actually, it's, it's very interesting. It's very spread out but compared to the prediction vote, which is on your far left. OK, and that brings us really to the end of the uh, session. So thank you very much for taking part. And I think we've captured some interesting information there, which will get recorded back to our our server. So I'll I'll, uh, I'll end the session now and stop the recording.